minds think alike. Great minds podcast. Great minds think alike. Great minds podcast. Great minds think alike. Great minds podcast. Great minds think alike. Let's rock. You're now tuned into the Great Minds podcast. You're now tuned into the Great Minds podcast. You're now tuned into. All right, welcome to the Great Minds podcast. This is Derek. This is Vaughn. And we're back uh, with a new episode. Yeah. That, uh, thank y'all for joining us. Um, definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, before we get into this week's episode, I want to just um, I salute to everyone that caught last week the toxic uh, masculinity. I got some um, good feedback on that. And also, um, just like a lot of people that I spoke to had like good perspective. I think a lot of times when you talk about toxic um, masculinity, you only look at it from like what dads or uncles and and yeah. I think people people appreciated the round well rounded approach we had. So um Yeah, so. yeah. I got I got a lot of good feedback as well on that. Um texts and, and messages and things like that about that. Um yeah. then, then I saw some toxic masculinity that was put on my on my on my line too. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's a, that's every that's every day. That's every day. It's funny. It's funny to me when I see that right. stuff sometimes. All right, so we're gonna kick this episode off. This is um like a would you would you rather? Um, everybody's yeah. done this with their friends, um, so we're gonna have a good time, get some get some laughs off, um, and just um, you know if you listen to your podcast, get to know us a little bit better. Definitely. So, um, you want to set it off? You want me to set it off? You can set it off. All right, here we go. All right. Would you rather wear uh, sandals with jeans? Or, or skinny jeans with some sketches, white joints. <laughs> skinny, skin, skinny jeans with sketches. Come on, man, you serious? Yeah, I'm not wearing sandals. <laughs> there's, there's no reason for that, especially with jeans. Nah. You, go, you go wear some, some some skinny saggy with the big white sketches on. Come on, man. Dudes wear it right now with the big. Gucci, whatever they're gonna put on, so I can just fall into that lane. <laughs> like you get the Balenciagas. I'm not wearing sandals. Yeah, yeah. I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing. Yo, so, yo, you could put those on with like a nice jean. I, I wouldn't do it. I'm just saying. In this in this situation, you could put them on with like a a cool jean, like a um a button up or a polo or something. And... Yo, it, jeans and sandals should never be together. First of all, it's no it's no sense because if it's hot enough to have sandals on, you shouldn't have jeans on. True. I think so. Why you have why you have both, right? Right. It, it just nah. nah can't, can't do it. Just can't do it, yo. I, I, I thought for sure you were gonna go with sandals. <laughs> nah, right, I got one for you. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Hmm. <laughs> that's <a> tough... <laughs> yeah, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> You can't you can't even help your kids with your homework if they can't. Um, lose the ability to read or ability to speak. Mm. I'm I, I would rather lose the ability to speak. <laughs> what? I mean, like I go communicate. Like, you, like <laughs> you, you can still write stuff down. You can write stuff down. Um, it, it's tough, man. You trying to help your kids with homework. You had like a um, you had like a parent teacher conference. They get, they hand you something, but but you could fake not being able to read though. Oh, you just, because, just look, because just look at it and be like, oh, all right, why? Yeah, like, all right, I got you. All, all you comprehend by vision, by seeing, right? So you're like, yo, I'm not gonna go read the textbook, but I can go look. I can go look on the TV and figure out what it is to tell you. But <laughs> but, but can't, you say you said you had to be able to read. I mean. Speak. L- l- lose the speaking. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know, man. I, I only. Tough, right. It, it's tough. It's tough because because I have kids. Like if I didn't have kids, I would be like, all right, you know, you still would want to be able to. Uh, nah, <laughs> no, man. I'm at the. I'm at the. Uh, take the reading away, man. That's a tough I'll one. Though. What would you say yeah. on that? Yeah, I would say the reading. Reading gotta go. You gotta be able to communicate, yo. Like you gotta be able to, like you can, you can fake. Like I was saying, you can fake communication, or you can like verbally see cues from people, right? right. So you can know like how to say hello and how to say bye and how to have a conversation with somebody. 
if you read, like reading is important. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. <laughs> yeah. but, but but you can think like somebody next to you can read. Like all right, like what does that say? All right. <laughs> Yo, R. Kelly had it was like one of the best singer songwriters <laughs> ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Read, allegedly, allegedly. I don't know how good his reading was, but yo, you, can, you can get away with that. All right. <laughs> but I'd be able to speak his stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. All right, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to go with not being able to read. That's tough, though. All right. So here's the next All one. Right. All right. You got a street fight, right? No gloves. All right. No gloves in, in the middle of the street. Who who you fighting first? Iron Mike in his prime or Kimbo? Kimbo. You fight Kimbo first? Yeah. And, and it, it's a street fight, though. Like Mike's, a, it doesn't matter. Street fight, not Mike. Mike is a weapon. Like, like my chances with Kimbo are very much higher than, than with Mike. Mike is not gonna be a chance. You Kimbo might chance. be. Might, might be the you might get move. tired. I might get tired. I might be the worst. <laughs> Try to al- alpha nest him. Mike yeah. is not gonna kill you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Rest in peace, Kimbo, man. For real, Mike. There's no question. <laughs> Give me Kimbo. <laughs> like, all right. I'm, I'm at my, my I might be like this. My I might be look crazy. Oh, yeah, all right. yeah, I get jammed. Live. That'd be the way. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm gonna live though. I think I have a chance to live with Kimbo. And Mike, I probably wouldn't make it out. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's the beard or something. Kimbo just seems scarier to me. <laughs> the Iron Mike. Uh, I mean, <laughs> looks, looks. I'll probably go. On, I'll probably go Kimbo though. You said it's prom too. Jesus, <laughs> you see Miss Miss Green's eye? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, like yo, all right, it's on me. All right. <laughs> Ah, <sighs> would you rather have <laughs> have a full phone battery or a full tank of gas? <laughs> uh, I'll take a full phone battery. Over gas? <laughs> Where am I going? I'm cool with staying home. Besides that, if you were out. All right, I got you. Got you. you said I mean, you take the battery. Yeah, I mean... I don't need a full tank of gas. Like you get plenty, plenty of places without a full tank of gas, and then like, I don't go anywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> you think you, you thinking about it as a as a pandemic state of mind? Like you're not thinking about like regular. Like I mean, even, I'm day. I'm even thinking about my commute to work, which is mm-hmm. which is a mile. I don't get gas anyway, so I don't even know what that feels like. <laughs> you don't know what gas feels like. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, I got you. All right. Would you rather Would you rather have more time or money? Tom. I think that's because I think time. it's an easy one. Yeah, because Tom, you can get the money. Right. Right? You get the money, you losing time. That's that's tough. True. You might not have time to spend it. How about you? Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm sorry I'd rather have more, more time. Like time is just more valuable. Cause it's just it's just stuff that money money you money can't can't do for you. Like money can't give you like peace of mind. Right, it definitely and, can't. In, in my opinion. And and some extra time will could give you peace of mind. Just just being to yourself to watch something or to chill or to read or or just to be in your own space. Best feeling in the world. Yeah, and, and, and I like it. like I always say like you know on Father's Day like what what can I get you on Father's Day like an empty house, empty house <laughs> and being left alone. Like, yeah, alone. for real, it sounds crazy, but that's, that's really yeah, a- empty house. Maybe like I don't know some meal, uh, some type of meal which I necessarily don't even need, but like. <laughs> Just leave empty, me alone. That's empty the, house or give me like give me like three hours. And sleep. Yeah, absolutely. All right, all right. <laughs> uh hold on. I had one, just lost it. Damn, it was, it was a good one. All right. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. <laughs> Would you rather save your best friend's life if it meant five strangers would die? Or save five strangers if it meant sacrificing your best friend? Who the stranger? Who the stranger? Is it like five kids? Stranger, you don't know. All right, yeah. Nah, nah. nah. <laughs> they, 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 they ain't the question. They, they ain't the question. Nah, nah. I don't know. It could be anyone. Any, any five random people. <sighs> it's tough, right? Yeah, I, I got. it. I mean, I ain't know the people before, so they gotta go. <laughs> I see. I said the same thing. Like, yo, sorry. <laughs> Rest I in, know. Now, if it it was some kids, if it's some kids, that'd be like a tougher decision. I don't want. I mean, I don't want anybody to go. This is all. Yeah, yeah theory, it's all like it, it, theoretical. Theory. It's a, yeah, it's in theory. But um, yeah, I mean, 
I didn't even know they existed beforehand. <laughs> Got you. She like, yeah, I didn't know them, so it's all good. <laughs> yeah. That's all good. I was like, damn, I don't know. All yeah, right. They, all right. Would you would you rather would you rather spend a day with Tupac or Martin Luther King? <laughs> 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 I, spent a day with, I spent a day with Pac. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> MLK had that heat on him, yeah. <laughs> Pac too. <laughs> but this different kind of heat, yo. Yeah, he had that fans, <laughs> he had that fans heat on his neck. Yeah, that fans hit the alphabet boys was after him. So we could have been nah, I gotta say Pac. I feel a little safer. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy to say, right? Yeah, I feel a little safer. After what we know now. MLK had a lot of a lot of issues going right. on with him. All right, all right, I'll accept <laughs> I'll accept that as your answer. But like, all all, all, all things all things aside, all MLK, things aside. MLK, MLK. Oh, okay, and right. he'll put he'll, he'll tell me some stuff I probably didn't know about and like you know what's going on and stuff like that. So MLK, but my answer for this show doesn't be pop because that heat was serious. How about yeah, you? Man. Who, who, who would you MLK? This is the '60s. Dude, don't get it twisted. Um, give me Pac, man. You, you know why? Because one, like what you were saying, and two, and two, like it wasn't like Pac wasn't a smart dude too. You know what yeah, I'm saying? You learn from him too. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying like you know he was Martin Luther King or whatever, but like you know you got the safety aspect and and you gaining some type of knowledge Word. from somebody that was ahead ahead of his time. You know <laughs> A rap because MLK, that's a good one. I was like, ah, <laughs> gotta pick pop. Right, it's, on, it's on me? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Would you rather lose your sight or your memories? Oh, uh, sight or memory? Sight. I mean, your memory. I'm sorry. Memory. All right. All right. I mean, I yeah. like, like, I, when it comes to like being able to see, like that that's just next level. Like I don't need to remember a basketball game I played in. But or, that means memories though in general. Like you don't remember nothing else though. Like that's so fine. like yeah, cause you cause you cause you can make new ones. I, you can I, make I, I new figured. ones and I wanna see my kids like graduate schools. I wanna see them like achieve things in life. But maybe you'll see it and you forget it. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like you'd be like Dory Dory from uh, Finding Nemo <laughs> or, you'd be like yeah yo yo this, she graduated already like where was that yeah, <laughs> yeah that, was, that was yesterday oh, alright it's crazy um uh, this guy at my job it's kind of a sad story but it, uh, this made me think about it so he he took his wife he took his his, his wife's got uh, dementia okay he took, he took his he took his wife to um to get get her vaccine right so like it was like the first shot so he after you take the first shot you know you got to wait like 15 minutes just in the waiting room or whatever he's chilling out yeah she gets the shot he's like she sat there for three minutes and was like yo when am i getting my shot i was like dang that's a scary thing, that's crazy man. and that's that's the scariest thing and i know people that probably listen to that have family members that have yeah. dementia all the time that's the that's the scariest part for people because like Someone that really don't remember something like that, don't remember who you are. That's tough. Right. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think it's on you, yeah. All right. Would you? Would you? Would you rather be born blind or deaf? And the reason I said born, I didn't want to say now. You never, never experienced it. Like so, you you never experienced either either thing if you're born with it, so you don't know. Because right. if you if you lose your hearing now, you could like you would be able, or you'll be able to like realize what somebody's saying. But you weren't born with it, so you wouldn't even know. Mm, mm. Damn. So if you big, if you if you, I I think we're such a visual society that I would rather be deaf than blind. So music, because. Huh? So music gone. Music gone. But you can see the joy in people from watching them now. So you can see certain things and if if you can't you can hear it. And you know you when you lose a sense, they say your other senses get really yeah, high you know, sharp, yeah. heightened. Yep. Which is cool. But I think like visually it's crazy. Like you can never watch a basketball game, you never watch a football game, never see your kids, never see this, never see that. You might not be able to hear it, 
hear him, you can still see him. I don't know. Just to me. How about you? Um, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I guess. I like to be able to see. That's the mm. thing. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Well, music is music is such a big thing for both of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you wouldn't even have an idea or a concept what that. Think was about like. this: how, how many deaf artists are out there in general? Just in general, I don't mean. No, I mean, not I mean, that off. Mu- musical or probably some artists like that. But most, if you have like a, uh, uh, you know, if you are blind, <coughs> you still be an artist because you can hear it. Right. Like Stevie Wonder, like people are very people like that. You can still hear it. Like so, it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't really stop you. But if you can't, like, I don't know. <laughs> Just real quick about Stevie Wonder, right? There's like this. There's like his this this rumor out here that he can see, right? <laughs> like, so so this you gotta Google, you gotta Google it though, yo. This. This is video of Stevie Wonder shooting the jump shot, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm dead up, yeah. This is a video. You can Google it. It's, it's a video of Stevie Wonder shooting the jump shot, right? Yeah. And it's not it's not that he's shooting the jump shot. It's that it's that after he shoots it, he's like <laughs> he keeps it up. He keeps it's it like, straight up. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you crazy, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, people are like, yo, come on, now. He keeps the jam like... He, hold, he, hold, he holding the form up. Like, come on, man. <laughs> you got the gooseneck up there. <laughs> yo, you crazy. <laughs> All right. Hold on, I got one. I got, I got one for you right My here. Stomach hurt, right. yo. <laughs> yo. All right. So, would you rather be locked... Be locked for a week in a room that's overly bright... Or a room that's totally dark for a week. You locked in there. It's gonna be a dark room, yo. Damn. Dark room. Dark room. Come out there. Come out. Come out there. Snapping. <laughs> you be. You be. You be in a light room. You have all type of headaches. All type. Nah, man. Give me the dark room. All right. At least that's. Gonna, at least that's I'm, conducive to sleep. You <laughs> sleep for a week. <laughs> You gonna lose track of the days, yo. <laughs> you gonna lose track of the time. You ain't gonna be able to sleep in a bright room. Get some shades. Think about think about what. Remember Marty when he was in that in that cave thing? Uh, Marty, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like that would drive me nuts. <laughs> Give me that. So, All right. uh, which one are you taking? Yeah, I'm take. I might have to take that that overly bright joint. Uh, that's crazy. Because cause, cause I'm gonna be on pain needles <laughs> anyway until I get out of there. So I ain't trying to sleep. I ain't gonna get sleep. Yeah, I hear you. Cause I ain't gonna be able to see nothing. All right. Yeah, you, you don't know what you, what you what's in that room with you. If it's dark, you don't. You you might start hearing certain things. You can't. All right. So you gotta that. you gotta give me all the all the factors first. Like if nah, I'm, I'm just saying, you don't know though. I'm, I'm just doing extra stuff out there. But you, realistically, you don't know whether to be there. Right. So like, you ever be in your house and all lights are off. Your your eyes start adapting to the dark, and then like right. you'll start seeing stuff that you you know where it is. They put you in a room where you don't know what's around you. I don't know how your eyes will adapt to it. And then you're not going to know, like, you're going to hear a noise and be like, yo, what's that? It's bright. <laughs> you see, you see it. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, not, that's just a so-and-so fell, whatever fell. Right. You know, you know how it goes. All right. Would you, would you rather have your first kid at, at 16 or 40? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> It's pros and cons of both of those. I absolutely, that's what I'm asking. So I say, mm, mm. I say, I say, yeah. Don't run and say 15, that, 16 that quick, because that's, nah, that's a whole I'm thinking, different ground, bro. Whole different ball game. I would say, I mean, cool, I mean, Think about what you're you, doing you, at you, both you, ages. You're you gonna be an old, but I right, hold. All right. I, I, I'm gonna say, not telling anybody watching this to do this. I say 16 because you have. <coughs> you're probably it, it's, 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 all scenarios is good, right? This is everything is good. You have more support when you're 16 that can help you throughout, and you won't be a a, a old ass uh, first time dad, right? Like. Like when when the kid when the kids when the kids ten you you fifty 
<laughs> you know, look at your AARP in a little bit. <laughs> like you old as hell. So that's the plus. But when you have a kid when he's 40, you're already established. You don't need any help for the most part. You shouldn't. You have like you have everything you need, but you'll be the old ass dad. So it could not be fair because you already old, getting old. Right. And the kid's like 21 and the pops is like 60, 61. But like it happens though. We kind of like, ah, uh, you gotta make sure you stay in shape. But you got 21 and 37. They chilling together. It could be in the same club. And they might be in the same club because that person never got a chance to chill. They they might. I, now I guarantee you the the sixteen year old and uh, the sixteen year old kid will grow up with his kid, right? For the most part, and he'll he or she will relate probably better to their kid because oh, yeah. they'll be they'll be going through certain things, and he can <clears throat> like, well, I could be like, oh, I I was there a little while ago. I understand what's going what's going on. So it's like you still have that parent. But you also have like a mentor, like somebody you really respect. Because right. sometimes people don't respect their parents; they should, but they don't. But if, you, if I can sit there and talk to you, like, "Yo, I know exactly what you're going through," it, it sounds different than if I'm much older than you saying it. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like four years is just a generational gap. Yeah. It changes everything. No, I hear that. How about you? I'm, you say going, 40. I'm going forty. I mean, I, I had a kid at thirty-seven, so <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not body in my youth. Am I you? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got. Well, you said which one was better because of that. Now, of course, I would, I would pick the forty in the long run, but I'm just saying with those two choices, it all at lined up. I would say that. All right. Let me see. All right. Would you rather listen to your least favorite song on a loop for a year? <laughs> or never listen to any music at all for a year. Least favorite song. I'll just have to wear that for a year. For a year, least favorite song. Yeah, to not be able to listen to music again. Nah. For man. a year. For a year. For a year. Yeah, I probably do it for more than that. I love music, so I can't. You can't just I, not listen to music for a year. Oh, you you don't. Oh, they say you can't listen to music. Ever. Nah, nah, nah. You either listen on a loop, or you can't listen to music at all for a year. Just a year. So what's well, your least right. favorite song? What's your least favorite song ever that you could think of? Ever. The problem with the least favorite songs, like your least favorite song is probably a song you know all the words to, too. So yeah. it, I can't I tell, even... you, I, I tell you, mine, one of my least favorite songs as of today, not it can change tomorrow, is Sick the Shock, It Ain't My Fault, whatever. That's very hard, right, yeah? Yo, Mr. Cool went off on that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I got to listen to that for a whole year. So when you're listening to that for a whole year, can you listen to other music too? Nah, it's just that song. Oh, it's like, <laughs> oh, sorry, okay. So I can't listen to it. ain't my fault for 365 days, you know? Yeah, I, I'll do that. I'm not, I'm not missing a year without music. Can't do it. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Here's the next, I think this is my seventh one. All right. Would you rather be stuck on a ski lift for an hour? Or, or a broken elevator in the hood? Broken elevator in the hood. That ski slope, something about the, something about you, your legs dangling. <laughs> Ain't the best feeling in the world, yeah. Work. I'd rather be in that elevator because I know, hit that button, talking to somebody, like, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm safe, but I'm basically, I'm confined. I'm in something. So, you know what I'm saying? I'll pick I, that. All right, you got no phone service either. In the elevator? Yeah. You, oh, got, it, you got it on the ski lift, though. It's too high, yeah. It's like being stuck on a roller coaster. <laughs> you just hanging there. Yeah, I, I, don't bang oh, with height, I don't bang with heights like that, so I'm taking the elevator all day. For real. I'm, I might be up 20 stories, but at least I can't see it. True. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm no closed. doubt. All right. <laughs> so... Let me think. I had, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right. Would you rather drink sour milk or brush your teeth with soap? <laughs> What's the milk going to do to me? Is it, am I just enduring the taste of the milk? Well, it got chunks in it, yo. It's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> like blue cheese. It's like blue cheese. <laughs> 
<laughs> Dream about a, a month old. A brush, a brush your teeth with soap. Nah, I'm not to brush my teeth with soap, man. Where I'm eating, taking that soap to the face. I'm not, I'm not drinking no bad dairy, man. Not to kill you. Yo. Had you all hemmed up. I mean, worst case scenario with the with the soap, you get a weird taste, taste in your mouth, false. But I, other than other than that, nah, man. I, I'm I'm definitely taking the soap on that one. All right, what, what you got for me? All right, I know you don't. I know you don't eat eat beef like that, right? <laughs> nah, what what? I'm talking about like a like, I'm talking about like a burger. Yeah, but I think about it. I I think about it in like a regular vein. Like I, I no no. I'm I'm asking you. This is like oh, this is nah, dedicated. Nah, nah. I already okay. nah. All right, would you would you rather eat five beef hamburgers or a bowl of chitlins? <laughs> Yo, give me the beef hamburgers, yo. You crazy. I'm not eating them yo. You slamming them joints like you're in a competition? For real. <laughs> you beat me double fisted. I will never touch, touch no chitlins, yo. Like, not nah, Never. How about you? You be, you can do a burger. Yeah, yeah you, easily. Easily. Yo, what do they call it? Chitlins or, 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 or chitterlings or whatever they call it? Whatever they say. It's like, it's like chitterlings. <laughs> it's just like Target or Target. It's the same yeah. thing. Terrible. All right. All right. <laughs> Let me see. All right. <clears throat> Would you rather stay the age you are physically forever or stay the way you are now financially forever? So meaning pretty much layman's terms, you will never change. You look the same forever. Or you or you'll be financially the same forever. But you'll get older. But whatever money you have will never change. It'll be consistent or whatever. Mm. I think I'll take financial. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna be 80 looking 40 either. <laughs> you look know crazy out there. I was gonna say the like, same thing. Like you could be 80 looking 65. I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> be 80 looking 40. And yeah. all your friends all your friends are 80. <laughs> Yeah, you think you just hanging with some old dudes like they're your grandfather after a while. Like, nah, I went to school with him. Like, what? Nah, I think um I think aging is part of the pro aging gracefully it is part mm. of the pro part of the process. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's like grays, losing your hair, whatever, but whatever like nah, nah, I don't need to be looking like that at eighty. Yeah, I would say financially too, just because as you get older, a lot of times your financial you become like um, you know, your financial I don't say independence, but financially, you become like on a fixed income. Like as you get older, you know, when you're like 65, <coughs> 70, whatever it is, you're in the fixed income for the most part with certain things. Right. If you can be financially how I am now, when I'm older too, without working <laughs> or whatever, yo, yep. why not? All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. You got to lose a leg. Damn. You, you, can't, you can't afford a prosthetic either, right? This joint is dead. It's just joint, right. just just a, just a, just a nub, right? Look, so you could lose your leg, or or lose um, or you could keep the leg but lose all of your teeth. Yo, yo, <laughs> yo, this grill is gone. Yo, grill is gone because I'm just gonna get some veneers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo. you can't you can't replace them for five years though. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I gotta do that, yo. Yo, cause, cause, cause you lose it. Listen, listen. I, I get it, right? No prosthetic, and I understand. But if I can get my teeth back in five years, I gotta wear it because you no, know, when you don't have no teeth, you age, right? Your joint just you get the you get the mush mouth. Your joint go in. Like, right. Um, so I got I, I gotta wear it for five years. Yeah, I just, I'm just, it's what it is, man. <laughs> you trying you to lose a limb? <laughs> I trying to use no limb, God willing. Nah, man. Nah, because that, that, that can affect more, a lot more, a lot of things, man. Like, Word. Start, yeah, feeling, well, that. start feeling in your back before you know yeah, it. Yeah, you, yo, you be in trouble, man. Get that phantom pain. Word. Like, yo, it's not even there no more. Why is it hurting? Yeah. Um, <laughs> that's, that was a good one. All right. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> Would you rather be able to read minds or predict the future? 
I think I think both of them are both of them are, are curses. <laughs> Word. Uh, what's the name of that movie? They had the dude that could read the, the woman's mind. I forget the name of that movie. It's old and new, uh, or like right. fairly old recent. Old, old, old the one. I forgot the name of it. Um. All right. Read minds or predict the future. I guess read minds. I, I as much as like I plan for the future, I don't want to know what's gonna happen for real. Like true, true, true. That's just like one. Like one is like you'll be worried about everything, especially if you know some stuff like once something's going to happen to somebody and stuff like that, yeah. then you feel like, then you like, yo, do I need to tell him that, you know, he, he out of here in two weeks Go, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, damn, yeah, it's like, that's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of pressure. Um, reading people mind, like somebody might like dish you in the head or something like that, worst case scenario. Yeah, that'd be funny as hell though. I think, I think I'd think rather have to read the mind. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want the ability to read the future. I just kind of, like you plan for the future, and if it doesn't work out, that's not on you. You didn't know that was gonna happen, so yeah. So I'm gonna definitely um, I'm gonna definitely go with that one. All right, all right. This is this is the tenth one. I actually got eleven. If you want to rock with eleven, yeah, I got I got some more. Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Well, would you rather post the cash app on your birthday? <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, the caption got to be like, <laughs> "Yo, it's my born day." <laughs> Hook your bro up. Hook me up. You know, <laughs> show, you know what it is. Show some, show some love. <laughs> you know what it is. Show some love to your boy. B Twiz twenty seven, right? With yeah. the with the with the with the uh with the cash sign at the boy. The cash sign on it. Or 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 you gotta wear a little Wayne T shirt in your profile pic. <laughs> Give me that little Wayne profile pic. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. know, you asking for love on your birthday? Asking no love on the birthday, nah, yeah. You can't take that back. That's in somebody's head forever. Like, yo, yeah. If you put on a little on your shirt, like, it could be like, yo, I'm putting on a, a novelty tee. Right. I just do the tee on, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, yeah. you know, you gotta be a fan or whatever. But definitely, <laughs> how about you, Lil Wayne? Yeah, man. I'm not posting no cash here, bro. <laughs> I, I can at least say I like some of the Carters. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you know, right. yeah, I'm good on that. I got this one I thought was pretty was pretty good, right? So would you rather die in twenty years with no regrets or live to a hundred with a lot of regrets? Nah, you can't, mm. live with, can't live with regrets, man. People it, do it all the time. I know, <laughs> I know, and I don't make it good. Like you spending mm-hmm. your whole life jink this thing and like, yo, I sh-. you can't even live right when you're living like that though. But but to kick the in twenty years, that's not long, yo. Or you can live a hundred. Let me get that hundo. Let me get that hundo real quick. Get that hundo real quick. Got a little regrets, like Hope said. I figure, I, I figure it out. That's what I'm saying. Give me that. Give me that Yo, if you knew you had 20 years left, yeah, that joint would be moving like crazy. You don't be moving like you same boat. Yeah. <laughs> you wake up. You like it's 2026 20, already. <sighs> <laughs> Last year we book it. Yo, that'd be that'd be hell. Yo, yeah, we did that. Grim Reaper be like, yeah, all right, bro. He be like, he got forty eight days left. <laughs> forty eight days is a wrap. Like, yo, come on, man. All right, all I'm right. gonna I'm gonna do one last one, right? All right. Yeah, would you rather be a kid your whole life or an adult your whole life? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> mm. As an adult, you mean like? Like what age? I just want to make sure that in, in, in and and then kid, what age is kid? Um, is, is kid like like ten? Like like ten? Like mm-hmm. ten? You could be ten your whole life, or, or you could be. I ain't gonna say twenty five. Twenty five is too fun. <laughs> 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 no brainer. Like, yeah. Uh, or or, you know what? Give me fifty five. Mm, get the AARP. Get discounts <laughs> for your whole life, right? Yeah. Like you get like in a, you get like a normal life though. Like so like the average life is what seventy eight or something like that. So you could But if it's ten, I I am just going so the whole time like the ten is me living ten my whole life. Yeah. But so seventy eight don't matter, right? Because I'd be ten. No, you could you're gonna get seventy eight. You're gonna years start though. from you're gonna start from ten. And then you're gonna start from fifty from fifty five, right? Yeah, but you're gonna be fifty five for seventy eight years. Got, or you're gonna be, 
Oh hell no! Yeah, give, me that, give me that fifty-five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that, that ten, that ten for seventy-eight years that flip you. You yeah. can't do nothing, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, yo you eating like you eating pop tarts every day, or whatever you eat. Yep. You can't go nowhere. You can't drive a car. Yeah, you can't can't leave the house pretty much without your parents knowing or parents being with you. You know, you can't you can't stay up past a certain time. Like nah, give me fifty-five. Yo. <laughs> At least you can have a crib. You can't you have a life. Yo. You can't like do certain like you can't do some of the things like you used to do. You can't be like hooping like crazy. You can still shoot around. You, you, know still, you, you might you still get hooped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, yeah, but you you have that option to do that. You can spend a, you can go on vacation. You can drive a car. You can go anywhere you want. You ten. You just trapped in the crib. Yeah, <laughs> for seventy eight years. Yo, nah, I'm good. How about if it was sixteen? I think I'll take sixteen. I take sixteen. Yeah, yeah. I take sixteen. Sixteen, I take it. But. Some things you can't do, but you you still worry free a little bit. Only thing you can't do really is drive. Drive and drink. Legally, drink. legally. Right. Okay. I'm talking. About, I'm, I'm talking about all 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 legal stuff. Like you can't you. do it allegedly. True. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll take fifty five though instead of ten though. That, ten 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 is ten's insane. Yeah. I right, got you go for this last joint. Last joint. All right. Trying to look at this one. I might give you a layup. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, no layup. No layups. All right, this one. All right, would you rather only be able to listen to one song for the rest of your life or be able to watch one movie for the rest of your life? So one song for the rest of your life and one movie. Which one would you rather be able to? You say you love music, so. One song or one movie. I'm going to say one movie. Um, Because the visual aspect of it? What's well, visual? The movie's longer, so you could like, you know, every time you watch a movie, you know, a good one at that, you you could at least pick up something new. You could break it down in segments, like Word. you can you watch know, Godfather or something like that. It's like three, four hours long. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could pick pick something up. So I'm I'm definitely rocking with the movie for sure. Where you need to movie. Is that it? Hold up. Yeah, man. That, that's it. Unless you got any other good ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got. I got another one, yeah. Just this is a bonus for my last one. All right, all right. You, you you can get another one. Uh, I can think of another one. I'm gonna have one on my list. I can think of another one though. All right, here we go. Yeah. Would you Would you rather be Would you rather be four or five or <laughs> seven or seven ten? Four or five. <laughs> you that's seven ten. That's seven you ten. Mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You be out there looking like Spottom got him. Yeah, Spottom got him. <laughs> Yo, my man look like a young, grown ass baby. Yo, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, that seven ten is tough. Yo, you got not First of all, you got nothing that you can go to comfortably. Nah, like, you can't go to the movies comfortably. You can't fly in the plane comfortably. You can't get in the car comfortably. You can't walk in the house comfortably. You can't get clothes. If you four or five, you can shop at the toddler section. Like you can flip it up like that. Like yo, I'm just short. Yeah, but what's but your, people are acceptable. Your, what's, what's your up? what's your life like though? At four or five, F- you kicking it. You everywhere. You pulling up everywhere. With mad who? people, mad people. Yo, <laughs> where, where have you seen? Yo, when you mad? You, you see mad short people with, with with regular people they're chilling with. It don't matter. But they like about chill, I'm not talking about chilling. I'm talking about finding a wife. Easy. Somebody else short. <laughs> <laughs> It's me. <laughs> you, you seven ten, yo. What you find at seven ten? If you can't, if you can't hoop, you finish. And then once you retire, you done. And you seven ten, you probably can't hoop. That's the, that's, that's the weird thing because you sure. probably just so and even run you so long. Yeah. So who, so who you going who you gonna be with you seven ten? Yeah. You four or five got options. You like yeah, you get a little five footer or you get somebody, get somebody, get somebody a little person. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You can get anybody. Yo. Trust me. When you seven ten, that's a tough. That's a tough tree to climb, bro. People sure. like yo, yo, but yo, quick, quick thing, yo. Before before we go, I wanted to make, I wanted to bring up that uh, uh that Dante Wright thing because I thought about it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. See your, your see your thoughts on that. How you how you feel about that? Um, just in general. Like I mean, I know we. It's all, it, you know it's unfortunate, obviously. Um, I think it's a little bit different than some of the other situations. Um. Yeah. But I think I think because it's another instance, it's just kind of like here we go again. 
You know what I'm saying? True, true. And and you know, uh, maybe he was running because he he didn't want to be the next person that that happened to. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That's why I was going to say, like, I after watching everything, when I first heard it, I'm like, here we go again, type of thing, right? Right. Then I watched the the the, the video, and I know we talked about it offline about it, but when I saw the video, and I'm like, my question is, if he was a uh, any other person but a black kid, or not a kid because he's 20, but like a, a young black male, he would have got arrested and he would have felt safe going to the police station. And just oh, calling yeah. his mom yeah, or, his, yeah. or his dad, like, yo, I got picked up, you know, whatever, come get me, whatever it is. Right. The major problem is, is that we, I mean, as black people, are so afraid of the cops, right? That he's thinking, like, I don't want to go there at all. So we need to figure out now. We we already know what the reason, right. <laughs> like why he would want to go, but what society has to understand, and that's why we talk about reform, because he's a young young dude, twenty. We're older, we've been in situations similar to that too, but we also have more experience, so we would think totally different, right? right? So we need to figure out, or they need to understand the root problem of why he was so scared to attempt to run, right? Right. So that's and that's really what we talk about about police reform, like by changing that dynamic because he's in a younger generation than us. He was he was petrified yeah. pretty much. That's really what it comes down <laughs> to. So it's an unfortunate thing. I want to see how it plays out, but you know that lady, she was the, the cop, the officer, but she resigned and she's um was arrested second, today. Second degree manslaughter. Yeah. So you know I think they're moving fast with what they need to do, but no matter what, they can't bring can't bring the, the guy back. You know what I'm right. saying? So. It's one of those things which is just, just unfortunate all around, but you know, I don't know, I don't know when it's gonna change, man. I don't know how it's gonna change. Right. We gotta figure something out because yeah. anybody, anybody, anybody could be in there, you know? yeah, any of us sure. could be there. Right. Yeah. But yeah, but I'm gonna get your thoughts on that, but you know. Yep. But, uh, all right. Well, um, thanks for joining us again. I uh, hope you had a good time. Uh, I know I did. Yeah, it was fun. I did some good laughs fun. and all that, but um. Uh, make sure you check us out. Follow us on IG at the Great Minds Podcast, Twitter at the Great Minds P1, and uh, appreciate y'all. Thank you. Great Minds Podcast. Great Minds Great Minds Podcast. Great Minds Great Minds Podcast. Great Minds Think Alike. Let's rock. You're now tuned into the Great Minds Podcast. 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 Never give on, oh boy, like Kim on a song. Culture safe now, thank God. The panic is gone. Time to heal from the pain. Take the bandages off. Ain't gotta win. The stakes are high like a cannabis bone. Okay, it's game time. Picks you with the balls. That's a face time. Great Minds spreading faster than a rumor through the grapevine. Born and Derek. What? Deserve the merit. All salute. Yeah. It's more than just a podcast show. It's like a movie. Born and Derek. What up? Great Minds think alike. It's the Great Minds podcast. Great Minds think alike. It's the Great Minds podcast. Great Minds think alike. It's the Great Minds podcast. Great Minds think alike. You're now tuned into the Great Minds podcast. 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 You're now tuned into the Great Minds podcast.